特进会的会长，了解议长长期关注气候变迁议题，尤其在担任议长任内设立的气候危机特别委员会，推动因应气候危机的行动计划，希望台美国会也能在气候议题上有所交流。Since I'm concurrently the chairman of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals Advisory Council of the Legislative Union, I know that Madam Speaker also have followed very closely on climate change issues for a long time. During your tenure as Speaker, you established the Select Committee on the Climate Crisis to promote action plan in response to related issues. I hope that our two Congresses can have exchanges on these issues as well. 去年。立法院主办的开放国会论坛中，佩洛西议长致函表示，美国会继续与台湾同在，坚定不移，致力维护台湾人民的自由、安全和人权。任内也主导众议院通过多项有台法案，今年二月更带领众议院通过《二零二二美国竞争法案》，呼吁美国行政部门为我驻美代表处证明进行协商。在此，我要代表立法院向您表达崇高的谢意。During 2021 Open Parliament Forum organized by the Legislative Union, you sent a letter stating that the U.S. will continue to stand with Taiwan and protect unswervingly the freedom, security, and human rights of the people of Taiwan. You also have been instrumental in the House of Representatives in promoting numerous bills friendly to Taiwan. In February, you led the House in passing the 2022 American Compete Act, which, among other things, Calls for negotiations on the renaming of Taiwan's representative office in the United States. On behalf of the Legislative Union, I extend my utmost gratitude to you. 回顾过去，早从关键的一九八七年，佩洛西议长与台湾的命运仿佛就因为民主这条线而交织在一起。三十五年前，您出任众议员。开启伸张民主、自由、人权的事业，也是三十五年前在国际压力与台湾人强大的名义下，当时台湾政府终于解除戒严。在此之后，从一九九二年的国会全面改选，一九九六年的人民直接选举总统，两千年的政党轮替，两二零一六年三度政党轮替，台湾已经成为全世界眼中民主的灯塔。我们希望。全世界民主同盟一起与珍贵的台湾同在。佩洛西议长无畏无惧，率团访台，就是对民主自由价值最大力的捍卫与巩固。Looking back since the key year of 1987, your destiny has been intertwined with that of Taiwan because of democracy. 35 years ago, your election to the U.S. Congress launched a storied career throughout which you have promoted democracy, freedom, and human rights. And it was also 35 years ago, under international pressure and formidable public will of the people of Taiwan, that the government of Taiwan finally lifted the martial law. A series of peaceful democratic transitions occurred in the wake of this. Comprehensive parliamentary reforms of 1992 gave way to direct presidential elections in 1996. Power was first transferred between political parties in 2000 and for the third time in 2016. In this way, Taiwan has become the beacon of democracy in the world. And we hope that the Global Alliance of Democracies will stand with valuable Taiwan. Madam Speaker's visit to Taiwan this time with the delegation without fear is the strongest defense and consolidation of the values of democracy and freedom. 佩洛西议长是台湾的挚友，也是台湾也是美国可靠、可信赖的盟友。台湾绝对会坚定立场，和美国以及全球民主同盟伙伴一起挺身，坚决捍卫民主、自由、人权，坚决守护我们得来不易、民主、自由的生活方式。最后，再次欢迎佩洛西议长率团访台，也敬祝访台顺利。我知道这次的行程非常紧凑，但我也欢迎佩洛西议长，如果有机会可以到台湾的各地走走。
感受到台湾的美好。当然，也欢迎裴洛西议长到访我的故乡台中，相信我们会让裴洛西议长感受到台湾人的热情。谢谢。Speaker Pelosi is Taiwan's true friend. Taiwan is the U.S. reliable ally. Taiwan will insist in its stance to defend democracy, freedom, and human rights, together with the United States and global alliance of democracies, to safeguard the hard-earned democratic and free way of life. In closing, I want to once again welcome Madam Speaker's visit and the delegation to Taiwan. I wish you a very smooth visit. I know that you have a very tight schedule, but I still want to welcome you to visit other places of Taiwan to feel its beauty. Of course, I want to invite you to my hometown, Taichung, and I believe that you will be impressed by our warm hospitality. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vice President Tsai, for your very warm words of welcome, uh, for your message from uh, President Wu, I'm sorry, that he has COVID. Please send him our best regards. We will be talking with him virtually later, uh, but thank him for initiating this meeting, and thank you uh, for your warm, warm welcome. It's an honor to join you, Mr. Vice President, as well as your distinguished members of your leadership here. Thank you so much for your presence and your kind welcome. I accept all the kind words that you said about me on behalf of the, the, the Congress of the United States, because all of that was done in a very strong bipartisan way in support of Taiwan. When you say that I'm a good friend of Taiwan, I take that as a great compliment, but I receive it on behalf of my colleagues. You acknowledged some, uh, you mentioned them at the beginning, but I'm very proud of the distinguished party that has come with us. They remind me of translation. <laughs> Uh, 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 Ma'am, sorry, sorry, because the mic was not working, they gave me a new one. <laughs> 呃，那非常感谢这个蔡副院长刚才呃热忱的欢迎我们，非常荣幸能够和我的同事以及委员一起来到这里，也感谢您刚才的溢美之词，尤其包括对于美国国会的这个许多的赞美，即使许多对于美国对于台湾的支持都是跨党派两党的全力大力的支持。刚才您说到我是这个台湾的朋友，我觉得这个对我来说是一个很大的赞美，但是其实我是代表我所有的同事一起接受这项殊荣。On our visits, on co congressional delegations, we have three purposes. One is security, security for our people, global security. Two is economics, to spread as much prosperity as possible. And three is governance. And I'll talk about the three of them after the translation. 当我们的国会议员到海外出访的时候，我们通常都有三个目的。第一个就是安全，包括在美国的人民以及全世界人民的安全。第二项是经济，我们希望能够将繁荣拓及到全世界各地。第三项则是关于治理。Mr. Vice President, so many of the uh, 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 legislation and other initiatives that you mentioned were possible because of my members of this delegation. The chairman of the Foreign, Relations, Foreign Affairs Committee in the House, Gregory Meeks, has been an ardent and, uh, leader in terms of these human rights initiatives across the world, but in particular the ones that you mentioned. Uh, so again, we, our purpose are the three purposes I said, but in doing so we want to increase interparliamentary cooperation and dialogue. And we do so at a time when our president has put forth an Asian Pacific initiative, which we support and we want to be specific in terms of how we work with Taiwan in that regard. 
副院长，您刚才特别提到了这个美国通过了许多支持人权的法案，那这个其实背后有许多是今天我们在座的同事一同来协助我们来完成以及促成的，包括我们的众院外委会的主主席 Mix， 他就是在这个人权方面倡导的领袖，不论是在美国或者是在全世界，那尤其是在刚才您所提到的好几条法案当中，背后都有他的这个呃推动的力量。那另外我们的这个。呃，许多的这个人权的相关的法案也是有跨跨党派的。那我们希望未来我们的国会之间能够有更多的互相的往来以及交流。那这个是也正是呃我们的拜登总统他这呃提出了关于这个印太的相关的战略之后，我们也大力支持的一些具体的行动。And acknowledging Chairman Mix's leadership. In regard to so many of the initiatives you mentioned, I'm sure we'll have some discussion about that, and you'll hear directly from him. We come in friendship to Taiwan. We come in peace for the region. And our vice, cha our chair of the, the Veterans Affairs Committee, Mr. Takano, representing our veterans, understanding the value of peace and the avoidance of conflict. I'm sure that he will speak to us about that, but I want to salute him for his protection of our veterans, not just our veterans, but the veterans of all countries engaged in war. We talked about economy. Yeah, we do the oh. translation first. Sorry, <laughs> thank you. 呃，刚才我们提到我们外委会 Mix 的 Mix 主席，他对于这个人权的法案在背后有许多的着力以及大力的倡议。那这个呢，他所做的这一切也反映了我们对于台湾的友谊以及对于和平的支持。那另外呢，今天在座的还有我们退伍军人委员会的主席 t a k a n o 他也是深刻的了解这个和平以及。和平以及避免冲突的这个价值在世界各地，因此我要，因此我要特别赞赏他对于在全世界对于这个退伍军人方面所做的呃各种的福利的支持，尤其不论是在美国或者是在全世界各地。Thank you. Uh, the, uh, we talked about the economy. Thank you for bringing up the chips bill. All of these members were instrumental in passing that important legislation, which we think offers great, greater opportunity for U.S. Taiwan economic cooperation. Here with, uh, here with us in that regard is the vice chair of the Ways and Means Committee. It was very instrumental in the passage of that, and uh, she can share some thoughts about that. Perhaps she was with Microsoft. She is private sector oriented and visited Taiwan on many occasions, which I'm sure she'll share with us. Congresswoman Susan Del Bene, vice chair of the Ways and Means Committee. 那特别是刚才您提到的这个美国所通过的晶片法案，那这是我们今天在座的所有的这个议员都有共同的贡献的。我觉得这个晶片法案是非常好的机会，让美国以及台湾双方能够在经济的领域上共同的合作。那这个背后呃最呃重要的一个推手之一，就是我们今天在座的筹款委员会副主席 Susan De Bell。那他之前曾经在 Microsoft 还有私部门工作，我们相信在在待会儿的交流当。中，他有很多能够与我们分享的。Where security and economy come together, our distinguished、uh, member from Illinois, Mr. Christian Murphy, is a member of the Intelligence Committee, and he saw the, the connection between chips and national security, as well as、uh, other aspects of our our cooperation, security-wise. Hear from Mr. We'll hear from Mr. Christian Murphy. Thank you, Mr. Christian Murphy. 那当安全与这个经济要连接在一起的时候，这个就和我们来自伊利诺伊州的这个议员 Krishna Noor， 呃 ，Christian Northy 有相关了，因为他是和我们的情报委员会当中的成员，所以他的所负责的领域就是将这个晶片以及国安还有其他的领域共同结合。我相信等一下他也有很多意见能够与我们分享。In terms of、uh, all of the connection of this, whether it's security or 
foreign affairs and the rest and economy. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, Congressman Andy Kim of New Jersey is a member of the Armed Services Committee, the Foreign Affairs Committee, and other committees of jurisdiction in this regard. He also has, is a former member of the State Department. He's a diplomat, and so he's teaching us to speak more diplomatically. <laughs> 那另外，如果是说这个所有的这个议题啊、呃，都要把它们连接在一起，包括不论是安全或者外交或者经济的领域的话，那我们来自 New Jersey 的这个 Andy Kim 的议员，他就能够扮演非常重要的角色，因为他不论不但是这个外委会以及军委会的这个成员，那同时他之前也曾经在国务院工作，担任外交官，所以我觉得他可以啊、呃、教我们大家怎么样啊、呃、在外交礼仪以及外交辞令上表现的比较。In terms of government, as you see, our, our delegation has what we call heft. Heft.、Uh, they they uh, have a, a, a view of economy and security and governance. They have knowledge of the issues. They think in a strategic way about how to work together. They came here. We all did to listen, to learn from you as to how we can go forward together. 那呃，刚今透过刚才的这个介绍，相信这个副院长可以了解，今天我们所来的这个访团是非常的有能力以及有分量的。不论是在这个经济、安全或者是战略思考等等的议题，他们都能够分享许多宝贵的意见。那今天我们来的另外一个目的，特别重要的也是要倾听啊各位的意见，以及向各位有所多多的学习。In, in terms of governance, we commend Taiwan for being one of the freest societies、uh, in the world、uh, for your success in addressing the COVID interest issue, which is a health issue, a security issue, an economic issue, and a governance issue. We congratulate you for that. And as we continue to work together, we want you to know how proud we are of, of Sandra. She told me just to address her as Sandra, <laughs> our, our director. Uh, and, and she has our confidence, and we're very proud of her leadership. 那在治理的方面，我们非常高兴知道台湾是全世界最自由的啊、呃、这个社会之一。那在许多的方面都有非常领先的成就，包括在这个防疫的这个疫情方面更是突出。那这个防疫不只是这个工位的议题，同时也是一个国安还有经济以及治理的议题。所以我们非常呃赞赏台湾在这方面有这么多出色的表现。我们也期待在未来能够在这个相关的领域继续合作。那之所以我们双方能够有这么样突出的表现，一定不能够漏掉我们 A I T 的处长孙小雅处长他所做的各种贡献。他是非常啊、呃、有能力以及非常这个卓越的一个领导者。我们非常骄傲由他代表美国政府在台湾为我们行事。And so now we look forward to our conversation about how we can work together, learning from you and and sharing some thoughts ourselves on how to protect the planet from the climate crisis, how to accelerate and learn from you, how you addressed the the COVID crisis, how we advance、uh, respect、uh, for all of the people. In our countries, as we go forward, and again, we come in friendship. We thank you for your leadership. We want the world to recognize that. And with that, again, I thank you, Vice President Tsai, for your hospitality, for your kind words.、Uh, just go back to Tiananmen Square for a moment. That was bipartisan. It was over 30 years ago. It was bipartisan when we were on Tiananmen Square, and we were there specifically making the statement on human rights. But our visit was about human rights, was about unfair trade practices, and it was about security issue of uh, 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 technology, dangerous technologies being transferred to rogue countries, to countries of concern. So, our, for over the years, it's always been about security, economy. And and、uh, and governance. So we look forward to our conversation, and I think we're right on time. <laughs> <laughs>
，呃，那呃接下来我会非常期待我们双方呃能够互相交流，来更加的了解我们双方呃有什么样的地方能够合作，并且请听各位的意见，向各位学习，包括呃在如何在这个气候变迁的议题上共同合作，同时也学习台湾这个防疫的出呃出色的防疫成就，另外还有了解说我们要如何在全世界推动以及尊重人权。那特别感谢台湾所展现的友谊，以及呃我们希望台湾能够在全世界受到肯定。那感谢副院长刚才的这个美言，还有对于我们的热忱的欢迎。那最后关于这个天安门的这个议题，我想要特别的补充：三十年前我们到天安门的这时候，那个时候我们是以跨党派的身份来前往天安门的。那当时除了我们要表达对于这个人权的支持之外，我们同时还要表达的意见是对于美呃对于中国这个不公平的贸易的做法来表示抗议，因为这个也是一个国安的议题。当时他强迫了许多的企业进行这个呃科技技术的转移，那转移到这个所谓的流氓国家或者是让人有所疑虑的国家来进行强迫的技术转移。所以这个国安的议题还有经济以及治理人权都是息息相关的。那我想我们时间好像差不多，我就先说到这里。非常感谢副院长，谢谢您。Mr. Vice President,、um, it would be、uh, Madam Speaker. Uh, now the media will withdraw from、uh, the room. Will be, excuse themselves, <laughs> and then we will have closed door session. Please like, share, and share the news on the YouTube channel, and press the bell to be notified of the latest global news and trends.